Okay, we've uh, now uh, moved on from our journey down the Flaming Gorge towards Luzerne. I've shifted over to Utah in the All Stays interface, and uh, I'm going to click up here, which is the corner of Utah where Luzerne Campground is. As I zoom in, I'm going to zoom in a little further. It's near the town of Manila, um, Utah. And uh, when I zoom in a little further, you can see there are quite a few camping opportunities in the area. Uh, most of them are associated with National Forest Service uh, Department of Agriculture. And uh, I spent uh, basically five days out on this peninsula right out here. As I zoom in further, you'll be able to see exactly where I was. Let's zoom it in a little tighter. It brings up the Luzerne Campground. And you'll notice that it is broken down into <clears throat> several loops. This is loop A, this is loop B, and this is the exact site that I was at. Uh, so you can uh, really, with this interface, this is, of course, using Google as the interface, uh, but the database is enhanced. Uh, you're also going to be introduced to uh, this side of the uh, cove, uh, this side of the peninsula, if you will. Uh, this is uh, Swimmer's Beach, and this is State Line Cove, uh, this area here. I spent a fair amount of time kayaking in these waters. You'll see some video of that, and uh, you'll see some video of me out here on these waters, um, actually making it across to these waters, uh, to this land here. Anyway, um, that's what this area will be about, and uh, that's what this video will be about. So enjoy. So we're heading south. We're about to turn east. Uh, this is uh, coming down 530 from Green River, about to turn east onto the Luzerne Road towards the Luzerne Campground. Uh, the campground itself is uh, about three or four miles down the road from this point. Uh, the road itself has a few rises and dips. Uh, there's some small cliffs along the way, as you see here. Uh, it's very scenic. This is uh, approaching this. This is really the beginning of the southern part of the Flaming Gorge. Um, it's really from here south that it gets spectacular. But this peninsula is really a lot of fun. It's uh, beautiful. Uh, you're entering the Luzerne Campground now. This is uh, Area B. Uh, they're lettered A through F or G, something like that. Uh, the only ones that are open now, this is the middle of September, are A and B. Uh, and even with that, they're not full. Um, I'm driving up. I had already done a loop through B and through A to kind of get a lay of the land. I'm driving up B towards the water, and you're going to see me uh, uh, take a site, which is pretty much right next to the water. It's it's essentially a waterfront site. So uh, that's just a really cool thing. This is uh, approaching Swimmers Beach and the uh, State Line Cove. Um, it's a great place to kayak, uh, swim during the summer, and you can see you can park right on the beach. And uh, the next piece is just an amazing sky, so I'll stop talking and let you enjoy. Kayaking around Luzerne campground area at the south end of the Flaming Gorge. And what you'll see as I pan off into the distance is snow covered mountains, probably about 3,000 feet, 4,000 feet higher than I am right now. You're looking at approximately 6,000 foot elevation of this lake, and you're at about 9 to 10,000 feet is where the snow is absolutely gorgeous. Middle September, nobody here. Temperature about 60, 65 degrees. Panning further to the north, since I'm just south of the campground, in the water. <laughs> and uh, there's my campsite. Continuing cycling around. 
So this is the town of Manila. It's a town of about 300 people. You're looking at Browning's uh, uh, restaurant. It's a great lunch and dinner place. Uh, well, you know, local, informal, decent fried food. Um, you're going to turn right here and head down towards the general store, which has kind of everything uh, from hardware to food. Um, I should also say that I'm here because I'm kind of in search of a great kayaking spot and uh, you know, the uh, site here that I'm at uh, is really good. I don't like having to climb down as much of a hill as I do to get to the water, but other than that, it's a really good site, really scenic, and a really beautiful place. Definitely recommend it. Let me leave you with some more kayak. Swimmer's Beach and State Line Cove. It's Saturday morning. You got a few dispersed campers on the beach.